Alright, uh, I've been meaning to make this video for a while, and I finally got it today. So, we're going to do X-Force versus Mercs in Reactor, no less, with a slight punch-up of about 40k. Uh, I've been building my X-Force up. I've gotten pretty good red stars on them so far. Um, if you want to see here, let me pause it real quick. This is my team. So I have a... 4 red, 4 gold, uh, Negasonic, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. I got 5 red, 7 gold on Cable. Now thanks to those milestone events, he was only a 3 red star and he was completely lacking on this team and I wasn't happy about it. So I was happy to see him and the milestone rewards there. Uh, Domino is 4 red, 4 gold right now, <clears throat> 48k. Uh, Deadpool is 5 red, 7 gold, uh, 62k with the highest damage, raw damage or base damage on my team, which is really important. And we'll talk about that here in a sec. And then X23 is 4 red, 4 gold right now, and 59k. And I've been laying uh, materials into her because I really like her. Her kit is awesome. She really makes this team shine. And so I've been trying to buff her up without making her damage exceed Deadpool's. So, key thing here is, these guys are gonna be the Merc killers, right? Everybody's having trouble with Mercs. People have been using Black Order on them. They've been using overwhelming, like, uh, X-Men teams and just a lot of different things to use against them. But, uh, obviously, X-Force is just specially equipped to take them out before they really do any damage or a whole lot of damage to the team. So, uh, they work really well against this, uh, this Merc's defense. <clears throat> so, I'm going to leave it in 2x here for this recording because I want to make sure everybody understood what's happening here. So first, uh, Killmonger gets to go first, um, and he starts with speed up, so uh, I believe that's because Shuri is here. Now Shuri being here does kind of throw this off because I don't think this is the proper way of doing Merc on defense. I think Shuri is a very bad choice for Mercs. You already get defense up from Riot Guard once he gets a turn. Her heals often get heal blocked because Brotherhood does that, and so does uh, X-Force. So she's really not going to play a whole lot of utility in this game. I think she needs I think she needs to be replaced with another damage dealer and just let them, you know, nuke whoever comes to fight them. But anyway, Task Manager starts off with an assist. Now here's the thing. So Killmonger hit Negasonic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, and then we got the uh, kill or Taskmaster. Uh, assist on his uh, passive right so he always assists mercenaries whenever they attack his basic is what's used for that and his basic strips buffs and gives them to himself so he stole the offense up from nega and she is not going to do quite as much damage with her ult which is really bad but he also gets that offense up and that's gonna hurt but we know uh we still got to use it we got to get the heal blocks on him we can't let the passive heals from merc lt heal them back up nor uh shuri gotta do the damage and uh and then of course the retaliation there <laughs> and so she's pretty low already uh so the next thing we're gonna do is domino so i just use her ult on him does a decent amount of that damage look at that 52k damage so it took him down to the yellow um that's perfect because that's what we need in order to get that speed bar on x23's passive uh, that is incredibly important we always want to make sure that she's getting a turn early because her special here, and let me pause it for a sec, the tooltip will show this, um, does damage, but it also applies, applies heal block, or ability block. And if blocked or dodged, gain bonus attack power and do more damage. Uh, ability, or apply plus one ability block to a maximum of three. So that means she'll extend an ability block by one if there's already one there. Um, and then bonus attack is unavoidable. And in war, this gains 10,000% focus. So it's very likely to land, uh, even in a punch-up situation. So you're going to see here, just to make sure, I don't want my team getting annihilated by the uh, task manager ult. So, of course, we're going to ability block him. I was thinking, like, oh, you guess, guess you could do Riot Guard, right? Because he's about to taunt. Uh, but then I was like, nah, if we kill Task, we win. Like, that's that's the game, right? So in any of these fights, you always want to kill him first if you can. Uh, Domino with the evade on X-23 there. And then, of course, Deadpool with an offense up uh, ult goes ahead and kills Task and Merc LT because they're sitting next to each other. And then it's really just clean up from here. So uh, they killed killed her. That's fine. She'll be back. It's it's okay. She's she'll revive next war. Um, and then we get the X23 alt, which unfortunately goes into 
entirely into Riot Guard. But since she got him low, she got that turn meter boost from her passive. She was able to follow it up with a basic and finish him off. And then from here, it's just clean up. Um, Shuri is yeah, just got blasted with that grenade. Deadpool does his special. Uh, X-23 does a basic. Cable is about to annihilate him with his ult and just throw him up in the air and ba and throw him, shoot him right off the side of that building. Pretty sweet. So uh, a couple other things I want to highlight here. Um, just let me go back to the beginning. Um, so one thing that's really dumb, and I see this a lot in uh, Alliance War, when you're doing mercs on defense, don't put Task and Merc LT next to each other. They're the two most important pieces of this puzzle, right? They need to be at least one character apart if you can help it. So I have both of mine behind the Merc Riot Guard on the back line and then Killmonger on the side and like Korath on the other side or Ultimus or I forget who I put there. But I change up that fifth Merc all the time because I'm always just unsatisfied with no matter who I put there. <laughs> it happens, but... Anyway, and then Shuri's over here. Um, it's just, though, I understand that they're wanting to heal Task with the Merc passive, but I I think this is a really bad idea. Especially with X-Force now, because there's some chains, and they're going to hit both of them with those chains, and you got to be careful about that. So, you know, if, if, um, if you're going to look at this, I mean, I would, I would just spread those two apart a little bit more. I think it's bad. The other thing is, uh, Killmonger... Um, can take a lot of damage because he heals and stuff so him being next to task manager is your best option because if he does get that splash damage or chain damage he's going to help help heal himself up which is great that's exactly what you want to do um so i would say that he's probably one of the least vulnerable i'd never target him first for sure um so i think sticking him next to probably one of the primary targets whether it's lt or uh, task um you'll be better off right him over here sure isn't doing anything nobody cares about these two Um, other thing, uh, just to show, look at all that speed bar fill at the beginning. Um, it's crazy how much turn meter the X-Force gets in this. Uh, this is like a, what, 40k punch up, I think. Um, yeah, let me check. Uh, so I think, I think it was, I think this team with war buffs is 280k. And I think, uh, the other team was 320 something. Yeah, 280 going to 327. So that's a 47k punch up, which is pretty good so um let me switch over here and let me just show you my x-force team just so you know what i'm working with and that way if you're wondering like why things aren't working for you or what you need i'll show you so i think this is really important i know a lot of people have asked me in the comments before on these videos like what's your team what t4s do you have and all that and i'm gonna keep trying to do this uh religiously when i make these guys types of videos because i don't want to i don't want to leave people hanging thinking like oh yeah he did that it's easy like no problem and then they just go in and get an blasted because they don't have the tier fours that matter or whatever it is but in any case deadpool has 12,190 damage for right now so he is a bit higher than x23 who is my next highest damage her her and negasonic are the next two um, but i think that it, he's got a good like 1500 on them so we're good what that means is that Taskmaster, when he does his ult he's going to target deadpool so deadpool's going to get at least one of the blinds he's going to get taunted he's going to get targeted and if he dies on follow-up attacks it's not a big deal because domino reses him if she's still alive so that's the idea uh, you just want to keep him at least competitive with the rest of the team um, X-23, I, I pulled a 6 red on her, but I only have 4 gold on her right now. Uh, obviously, uh, when her blitz comes around, I'm going to go hard on that, because I definitely want to unlock some more of those stars. Um, but right now, I've only done her passive. So I've only done passives on this team so far. So that gives you extra speed bar fill by 20%. So uh, whenever a enemy drops below 50% health, fill her speed bar by 40%. That's, that's the trick, right? And then... Uh, you know, whenever her health drops, she gets the two evades, and then she also gets focus, and then war offense, she gets way more focus for some reason. Just nuts. Nutty amounts of focus, right? Because her special already gets like 10,000% focus, so and then her base focus is like going way up from all the passives and stuff, so we'll see. Um, not sold on her ult yet. I don't know if you really need to max this, right? 20% damage is nice, and then always flip stealth. I don't know. I'm not sold on that. But anyway, that's where she's at. Cable, no tier 4s, of course, uh, at least not yet. Um, 
maybe eventually we will. Uh, but he's not really ready for it. But five red, seven goals, really nice. Only level 63, only 53k. Uh, but nothing nothing crazy. Uh, and Negasonic, I did her uh, passive as a, a tier 4. Gives you more armor, gives you more... Um, Let's see, damage and stuff, 20% damage to self and all X-Force allies. That's pretty significant. So in total, she's providing a 50% damage boost to them, which is huge. Huge. Absolutely nuts. Um, and then on spawn, fill speed bar you know, with X-Force allies, right? So uh, so she's a good team player. She's got a lot of synergies. Uh, Domino, I did her uh, passive as well. And as you can see here, it gives her 25% chance to apply evade to allies. Um, or well on top of what she was already doing so that's really nice keeps people alive and uh, lets them dodge a little bit um, and then uh, she also provides the um, crit damage she also has a really good base dodge percentage 50% with the or well, I guess it, yeah it'd be 50% with a full X-Force team all right and then on spawn field or fill speed bar Apply offense up to all allies. Like I mean, she is she is a glue glue character. But that's my whole team in a nutshell for X Force. Uh, I really like these guys so far. Their turn meter is just insane off the bat, and yeah, they're gonna wreck a lot of crews. So uh, I would recommend building them. I think they're like if you remember when Fantastic Four came out and they were war offense driven. And I know I was one of the people that's like, yeah, I don't really want to build that. It's just too much work, you know and um that's kind of how i feel about these guys because when the fantastic four came out they were one of the best teams on offense and uh it's hard to beat black order i don't think x-force would beat black order on offense for war but this could be this could definitely be your second or third best attack team overall so uh if you got you know cable and deadpool already built and you're just working on these guys you know keep working on them and uh, they will definitely take out a lot of teams for you i did that video on a near 200k punch up on defenders with them uh, with no tier force i don't think and uh you know it's just they're very op right now for war so if you're into war heavy alliance you definitely need to build these guys and get them rolling uh, but they are a good team they win in blitz 8.3 um i i do enjoy them so i would i would recommend uh building these guys if you got the resources if not well then you can probably skip them if you have enough other offense teams to fill in for war uh it really just depends but for me i'm gonna go pretty hard on these guys and get them get them up there i'm gonna see about tier 14 and x23 because i think she's really good but we'll see all right well thanks for watching if you have any questions about the uh the fights and stuff with the mercs and x-force just let me know um i think i think these three passives are really important for tier fours and that's about it um, I don't think you have to have anything else, but certainly, you know, lots more damage is always going to be a plus. So, you know, spend your tier fours wisely, though. You only get so many. You got to be careful about that. So, all right. Take care, guys. I'll catch you later.